Hello everyone, this is Cliff. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Far Cry 4. Now, in this episode... There we go. In this episode, we're going to actually start doing the bell towers. And basically what I've done is this. Um, in order to figure out which area was kind of deplores versus Norse, I've uh, bought some of the maps. And it's really easy once you buy the maps. Anything that's in this kind of question mark area would be deplores. So all of this region right in here should be deplores stuff. Um, but I still think for this video I'm going to actually include this bell tower. Which will allow us to capture these two outposts right here. Right, so for right now... This is our approach to uh, this first bell tower, uh, right up here. Uh, I got here using this whirly bird right here. Crap. What are they shooting at? Uh, so there's a lot of eagles in this area, and I think that's kind of what's gotten their attention. And I see a bad guy across. Okay. All right. So this is our first little bell tower. And a common theme of some of these bell towers is not necessarily the guards that are here, it's the creatures that are here. Alright, so... Just gonna take a lap around here. I think we're clear. Here, that. All right, so let's start climbing this. Well, let's get that open. And it gets this. And ammo should be needed. And ladder. And I think this one has a poster on it. Uh, so what we'll do is fireball it. the man with the golden name. Who is this? Ajay, I'm hurt. <laughs> you don't recognize my voice? Should I? The voice of Radio Freaky Rock? This is Rubby Ray Rana. You don't, you don't recognize that? Right. Robbie Ray Rana. Just call me Rubby Ray, man. Okay, Robbie Ray. What's this about? Look, we need a face-to-face. -face. I'm sending you my coordinates. Come find me, man. And that's, uh, if, if you steal cars, uh, you can actually hear him on the radio. He's got kind of a, I would call it more of a, a Grand Theft Auto-ish uh, type radio show where they talk about extremely, uh, Inappropriate things. Yeah. Sorry about that, dude. So that will us to get this. Clear out all these boxes. Now, when I... The very first time I tried to climb this tower, uh, I basically got almost all the way up to the top and there was a, uh, one of those hornet's nests and basically uh, had a little bit of an accident trying to get rid of it. Uh, I was very upset about that, but hopefully this time I don't... I tried to clear it all out. I tried to scout it out a little bit better this time uh, so I wouldn't die from bee stings on camera. That's, that's never cool. Alright, I think I got all of the miscellaneous treasures, so what we're going to do is we're going to smash this.
Alright. So that would unlock a free weapon. And also... Come on. Clear out this area. Uh, so, okay. Next up will probably be this tower right here. So, um, give me one second to get over there. There's actually a, a gyrocopter or a buzzer as they call it here. And that's the easiest way to point A, point B is. So, give me one second and I'll be back. Okay, so we are at our second bell tower and I took our uh, buzzer all the way over here um, avoiding that outpost wasn't too bad uh, what we're gonna do is it seems like we've got some fighting going on elsewhere so that may help us with uh, uh, what we want to do is definitely take this out And that there is a random uh, kind of quest that you can get. Uh, oh crap, there's one inside. Oh, I'm gonna be able to reach that from here, I'm not. There we go. So, uh, like I say, those things are usually the most dangerous. Uh, it, it's always seems to be the animals that are around. Um, when you get later on, you'll find bears and tigers around these bell towers, so uh, just be careful. Uh, there's a crack. There's another one up here. Is there any more? And again, these guys are, are a lot easier to take care of uh, on the PC, uh, especially compared to the Xbox, because uh, you can actually see uh, the dissipation of the bees a little bit better. I think that's all of them. Alright, we got a snake somewhere. Ah, right there. Alright. Second. 
in uh, South Gear, right? These trucks are another quest. Uh, basically, what you can do. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. All right. Basically, what you can do is two things. Oh, Taking sorry. that tower is a small start, but it is a start, Ajay. And we have you to thank for it. We can finally start reaching allies in the region. Uh, you can do two things. One, I could take something like, say, a Molotov cocktail and set the truck ablaze and, and watch it blow up. That gives you a small, uh, small reward. Uh, the second thing, and that is the one that counts towards this progress right here, is uh, you see at the very bottom right, you see car cargo hijacked. Uh, if you are able to kill the driver and then uh, hop in the car, you can actually drive it to one of the outposts and uh, you'll get a slightly larger reward. And of course, after, uh, after a couple of trucks, you'll actually get a gun. Shouldn't take this many grenades. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my buzzer, and now that we've unlocked all of this, I am gonna head toward head towards this uh, bell tower right here. So uh, give me one second, and I'll be back. Okay, so we are at our third bell tower for this video. Now this one you do have to watch because there is actually a sniper, uh, typically up at the top. Uh, also, two other guards around. They're not a big deal. Um, if you can stealth kill the ones at the bottom, the sniper's not really that big of a deal, but it is kind of aggravating to be climbing, trying to climb up top and, and have somebody aggravating you. Alright, let's see. Uh, there are also wolves around, which you can probably hear in the background. Let's grab that. And we'll get this Right, and so we can come over 
Okay, and here's our sniper. And off in the distance there, that's one of two statues, this location right here. Uh, that will actually be the location of a campaign quest uh, not too far into the future. Uh, what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to go back to my buzzer, which I conveniently left near the zip line this time. Keep this up and we'll be broadcasting across the whole region soon and saving them from Pagan Lin's lies. Okay, so that is most of the southeast, or pretty much all of the southeast. We've got two more that we're going to do. We're going to do this bell tower here and this bell tower over here. Uh, this also unlocks, uh, once we get that outpost, or that outpost, either one, uh, this area right in here is where I'll be hunting for tigers. Uh, but it's pretty essential to have one of these two outposts uh, unlocked because it will actually allow Golden Path members to be traveling along this area. Alright, so next up I think we'll do probably just do this one and then this one and we'll call this video quits. So give me one second and I'll be back. Alright, so we have made it uh, kind of skirted through these two uh, outposts and made it to our, to our bell tower here. Ooh. And there's some animal on animal violence. Alright, and I took a look around. I didn't see any. Uh, I don't see any annoyances like uh, beehives or anything like that. So I'm just gonna. Namaste, RJ. And I'm gonna stay. All right. So grab some ammo. Come on, come on. Come on. Just a uh, small brush fire, but nothing to worry about. It's 
just a whole lot of chaos sometimes with these tower missions. They're not terribly difficult, but uh, that's our bell that's following through. And we're going to hit this hijack signal. Alright, now we'll get the area run down. We've got seconds and now we've got pretty much a clear view of all of South Kirat. I'm going to do this one last bell tower right here. Uh, once that is done I am going to call it uh, quits on this video and the next video will be liberating these fortresses right in here. Probably even stretch out and do this one. So that's what six fortresses yeah. Then after that, I will probably show you how to do uh, some hunting in this area where you can easily find uh, skins, uh, pretty much uh, kind of renewable skins where you can uh, kill the uh, targeted animal and, and easily collect the bait. And uh, for some of the enemies like the bears and tigers not get uh, horribly mauled in the process. Let's go here. And uh, what I'll do is cut it here and come back when we are closer to the bell tower. Okay, so we're here at our last tower for this video. And with different uh, parts of the country, you have different uh, propaganda posters. But... So what we're going to do here, I think this is the one where we maybe have to go under brown. It's one of two bell towers that kind of throw a wrinkle into the system. One of them you have to kind of go in through a well uh, that's been opened up by the bell actually falling all the way through the tower. Let's see. Yes, there, sorry. really weird because it's sometimes hard to get the uh, actual grab uh, mechanics on that ledge uh, so uh, just be careful of that
so we are done as you can see we've opened up a fair portion of the map uh, we've got our Yogi and Reggie quest this is where um, our dad's house is and will actually become a uh, quick travel location uh, once we do a, a few quests that, or I think just have to do that one quest right there um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're at a good point to actually start doing outposts and what I'm probably going to do is just try to do all of these kind of in a, uh, a counterclockwise pattern uh, the way they I've told you this uh, in a couple of videos uh, before but they do rank outposts by the number of alarms you will face uh, once you get kind of a little bit further into the game quote unquote uh, since it's open world but once you get further away from kind of this this main base uh, you'll see more difficult um, outposts most of Deplure's outposts I think all of Deplure's are one uh, with the exception of his main fortress <coughs> excuse me now we will weaken his fortress uh, through events that happen in the game uh, the other fortresses honestly I will probably end up doing uh, without weakening or without uh, doing the campaign mission that quote unquote weakens the fortress uh, they're not terribly difficult uh, you just kind of have to change the style um, you have to focus a lot more um, or at least in my case I focused a lot more on disabling alarms uh, instead of maybe you know killing enemies outright uh, there were a couple of that I was actually able to do undetected and I'm gonna try to do the rest that way but uh, we'll just end up uh, we'll just have to see about that so uh, when we come back I'll be right outside of this fortress uh, ready to uh, take the fight to the enemy uh, so until next time this has been Cliff I hope everybody takes care I'll see you later bye bye